Well, I got my capture point badge. So there's that. Fighting a good fight. And yeah, I certainly look it. All right, so that didn't give us very much XP though. We're still at eleven thousand. Oh well, not much, not much farther now. Let's keep going. Okay, okay. So we got another get another map that's actually stacked in our favor. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Let's see if my team can actually pull this off, because actually a bomber strike is significantly slower than an air base, rather a military base. I think the military base is a stronger structure than the command center, purely because it doesn't take as long to actually hit things. Its effect is immediate, and the bomber strike... The bomber strike is really easy to intercept, it seems like, even at this tier. It seems like everybody just immediately turns up and starts shooting at the things. They're worth a lot of points, though. You are approaching the front line. Off we go. It's like most of the team is going that way, but we'll go this way. Because it is an air base, and we're probably just going to shoot up all the planes here and then basically be done. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's in range. Stand still and eat Shavak. Hi there, Boomerang. Well, you're dead now anyway. Bye! Unfortunately, your plane is set to explode. Upon failing your mission objective, you die. <laughs> See, now we can be grim again, but it's only towards the bots. The bots aren't real. They're not human, even though they're mostly on our team, but those are higher-ranking bots. They have better... they have a... they have a higher score at Minesweeper. Okay, BF-110, you use your energy advantage, but, uh, well, that 109's faster than me, so he fucked you. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Don't smash into me, you son of a bitch. Get the fuck back here. Oh, help! Uh, round and round and round and round and round and... Okay, you know what? Control surfaces, please. I want to get this kill. I need this kill. I want it. It's mine. Excuse me, coming through! No, I didn't get it. Son of a bitch, they stole it from out from under me. Every fucking time. Hey, 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 Fuck you, lightning. Okay, it looks like the enemy forces are coming towards us in pretty large numbers. So now we're gonna have to worry about some shit. However, this ground attack player is fucked because he is in the IL-2 prototype. And it doesn't have a rear gun. I'd like to hit him, but apparently my shots aren't actually hitting him. What's going on there? You saw those shots, they were flying into him. What happened? Okay, the bombers are gonna get through, but they're not gonna be able to capture the points. It's not gonna do that much damage. Hmm. B-36 is coming down to my altitude. Or near it. Oh, goodness. Oh. Okay, so they took about half the base's health. Potentially more. Yeah, ooh. 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 That is problem. I... Though I think that's the first time I've ever actually seen a full airstrike get through with all of the planes and have all of the bombs drop. Usually we have somebody to intercept that, but well, now we see why that's balanced like that. 
Now you can see why they thought it would be as effective. Most of the time it isn't. Because there's somebody up there chewing at it. Get the fuck back here, you son of a bitch. Got one. Roll down. Dead. Okay. Well, we got the base. Ha ha! I'll sit here defending it all day long if I have to. It looks like they're changing positions. Well, some of them are changing positions. These, are, these guys are still coming our direction. Okay. Well, he's out of my range now, but he's got about three people shooting at him right now. I don't think he's gonna get away. Though he might. Oh, hello. Where'd you fucking come from? Got ya! Hi there. Turn! Ow. I need that. That engine is very important. I need that. I could use a hand here. Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna die here, because zero. Hey! Of course, the Japanese rice paper planes are still effective at turn fighting. Why? Because they took literally everything off the fucking plane in order to make it do that, so it's actually unsafe to fly. Rather unsafe to be shot at and, and fly. But the Japanese always have their turn fighting advantage. The Russians, the Russians get, well, well, they get guns. Which is what I, I expected for. Russians had a love affair with cannons. They put 20 millimeter cannons on basically damn near everything. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, Which is what most people did. The Germans were also prestigious with cannons. And the British were trying. And the Americans, though, we didn't put cannons mainly because we didn't really have any. Our copy of the Hispano 20 millimeter cannon was actually incredibly shit. And the army, the army air force and navy just decided, okay, we'll just put six machine guns on. It's almost the same thing. Result, down the line, we get kind of, kind of shafted in video games de depicting history. Oh well. Well. Victory is ours. We're waiting for your return. We win. Are we there yet? Are, are, are we there yet? We might be. Actually, no, we are. Because we have a thousand free XP. Ha ha! You see, now we start shortchanging the numbers here. Okay, so. Also, I have a crate. What's in the box? Oh, Control Surface 2. Well, that's nice. However, I can't use those because they, they spend gold automatically, even though I have a bunch of those kinds of things stuffed up in my inventory. That's another thing that needs to be changed. But... I believe we can research the I or the Yak-7 now. We can! Ha ha! Hmm? What are the preceding aircraft? What? You can select it even though I don't have it. That's weird. But then again, I suppose you can jointly... Re that's... Uh, okay, you could research it jointly, I suppose. It'd be nice if you could do that, but... Okay, I'm just researching it from this, please. Thank you. Okay, then. So, we're at Tier 5 now. Hmm. Alright, well, let's buy our plane. We we're gonna take our, our... our wonderful lieutenant up with us. So we will not need a crew. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, lieutenant. You have a, n a new assignment for you. Costs a lot of fucking money, but whatever, we get it done. Okay, so... Before we sell the I-16... I believe we can take this off... Where does this go? This is... 
Yeah, four and six, so we can take this and put this on the yak. This stuff, however, is complex, so we can't actually get rid of it. So, whatever. So, thank you for your wonderful service, Ishak. We will see you again. Well, some, some other place at some other time. This aircraft is one of those things that, well, every time you're talking about World War II, this thing shows up. So, it's kind of immortal that way. But, well, I don't want to dismount that, but, right. Tumbles and ammunition and 200,000. Goodbye, Ishak. It was nice. However, now we have ourselves a monoplane. Good, good. Alright, we should be significantly faster now. Unfortunately, we have to do a little bit of work in order to get our main cannon upgrade. We only have one... one... Uh, what's the term here? Hub mounted, right. It's only one Chirac. It's got 600, so you got that range. You got, you got some hitting range, but it's not exactly the most amazing thing in the world. Easier to aim, though. And then, well, we can research the 37 and be a pseudo Yak-9T. But the, the Yak-9 is the next plane, though. So, eh. So, we'll have that with 900 meters of engagement range, which should do us very nicely. Slap the rockets on the wings. And then go about up... You know, up armoring and equipping. Okay. So, right. Hmm. Lightweight airframe. And what else should we get? Hmm. Concealing livery would look... Well, would be nice. However, that's not really going to help us out there. We'll do control surface adjustment. I will continue onwards doing the builds that I, I think are going to work. When we get to the tier 10 plane, then we'll kind of screw around with alternate builds. Because then, well, there's nothing else to do but screw around with alternate builds. So then we'll learn, truly, if speed is really the king of everything. But right now, maneuverability and kill power seems to be the, the thing that gets you, gets the job done. So, reinforced control surfaces. Control surface trim and pneumatic restarter. Again, medkit would be helpful in this sort of, sort of circumstance, but the uh, control surface is better and your wings and your engine are going to get knocked out more often. So, it's not exactly the most optimal thing in the world, but... Well, it gets the job done the way it is. Okay, so with that, what's our goal here? Yak-9 costs... How many? 27,000 experience. That's quite a lot, but you know what? Getting here wasn't that bad, so... Eh, it should be okay. And I should note that... Mm, I think that... I think getting to Tier 4 to Tier 5 in World of Tanks costs about 20,000 XP. So, this is actually slightly better. Just ever so slightly. So, well, let's play a game or two before I call it a night. We've gotten to tier 5, we've made some serious progress, so... Let's just break in our new plane a little bit before we... Before I decide to shut it all down for the evening, because I gotta get the stuff out to you. I have to edit this stuff. I gotta make sure you can watch it. Okay, Archipelago, a... Actually balanced map. Attention, you are entering the zone controlled by the enemy. Looks like the first thing we're gonna hit is the forward airstrip. Which again should just be replaced by the regular airfields, cause really they're just kinda shit. Yeah, they allow you to spawn in as different planes and from different angles, but it would be really nice that if repair was actually a standard thing that you could rely on in this game mode. Like the repair would always be there. But, well, we'll make do with what we got so far, and we'll give our new Yak-7 a try here. You are approaching the front line. Off we go. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to have a higher top speed, just because we're more aerodynamic, and I believe we have a more powerful engine as well. I'm not exactly in tune with the specifics of the Russian fighters, though, in terms of actual technical specs. Do know about their cannons, but... In terms of performance upgrades over each preceding model and series, I don't know that much. I run into them a lot, though, so you know what? I should know it. But whatever. Don't need, don't need to be an expert engineer to be a pilot. Alright. 
that's one ground target knocked out. Let's go for the air defense fighters. I think I'm going to be doing less damage currently until I get my 37. Which basically just means that I'm going to be an Aero Cobra. But everyone knows Yak-9T is superior. But that is next play. We'll wait for that. Okay, the AI just decides to break off for no apparent fucking reason. Okay. If I can turn here really quickly. Attention all fighters. Enemy bombers detected. Destroy them. The camera kind of jerked in a weird way back there. Want to turn, want to turn and get the fighter. Want to get the boomerang. And unfortunately I stalled, so I ain't going to get that kill. Well. Oh, well. Mm. Eh, only a couple points behind the leaders. Unfortunately, we have a BF-110 coming in here to try and ruin our days. Do not hit that. Uh, lag, lag, you fool. You foolish fool lag. Don't head on that. This isn't War Thunder where you can get a lucky pilot snipe. However, unfortunately, they just kind of he just kind of rammed directly into the IL-2. The IL-2 is strong. Strong enough to weather a direct ramming hit by a BF-110. That's Stellanium. My goodness. Alright, but we seem to have a couple of problems here. That's an Aero Bonito over there. We have... The majority of the capture points. However, we just gotta make sure we win now. Get back here, you son of a bitch. This thing, uh, I'm not feeling too good about this thing's maneuverability, to be honest. But I suppose that comes with the increase in speed. The faster you go, the, well, the larger your turning radius is going to be. Which is why the Zeros, even though they're very, very maneuverable, they're slow as shit. Which is how the American fighters in the Pacific actually managed to actually survive encounters with them. They just flew the fuck away because our engines were stronger. Also, they had a thing where they couldn't turn to the left, if I remember correctly. Something about how the... I believe it was how the propeller was rotating, so it made, this, made it hard for the Zero to turn against that. Not too sure about that, but I do... Well, the reasoning behind that, but I do know that they had that. Little, little things. Turn! Turn! Got him. Good. Roll in here and waste my rockets. Rather, use my rockets to their best effect. Yes. Unfortunately, I did not kill the thing. That's the air defense fighter. Let's take this out first. Then I can say that I'm contributing to cat points. Ground! Well. Well, I had to crash into the ground once. Usually I make it out of there, though. This thing's response time is considerably slower than the Ishak. Ah! Oh, well, fuck you. God damn it. I still got a game to win, though, before I close up for the night, you son of a bitch. Okay, sorry about that, but let's see if we can actually finish the game here. The X7 is proving you are less the maneuverable yes, than the Ishak, but yeah, hoping that the increased firepower out of the 37 will probably save the day. It's gonna be a while before we can get that though. It looks like looks like everything's in hand here. We could go up and try and shoot at the bombers. We're here anyway. So we can probably make it up there before they actually hit their targets. Three points. Eh, eh, eh. Screw you, Hamptons. However, unfortunately, I'm stalling now. Enemy eh. inbound. Don't let them reach Get. 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 I'd like to have some airspeed, please. I helped. There's another wave of bombers coming back in, though. This is kind of continuous, though. So as long as they hold the control point, we're basically farming points. Haha. <laughs> Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, 
support will not be available. Okay, that's our respawn timer ticking down. We are probably gonna win this though. So we'll probably be fine. Most likely, hopefully. Let's see if we can actually let's see if we can hit a bummer with the rockets while we're standing up here. Why not? And keep it up. Victory I think one of those actually hit him. Hard. Maybe. Turn! That's it. There's no way to break this for you now. You're on your own. Ah, he's just out of range. The threat to the complex eliminated. Way to go! Well, they took that out, and we also have the command center. So, no more bombers for the enemy team, which means that we have to go in there and kill people now. The X-7 is proving kind of an underwhelming stock, but, well, it is stock, so hopefully it'll get better by the time we tune it up. And I have this thing spec for maneuverability as well, and it's still not doing terribly well on the maneuverability front. Okay. That guy down there, he's dead. I think I'll be able to get the Arrow Bonita first. Hopefully, maybe. All right, fine. Fuck you. I'll get the 109. Hey! I don't have my control surfaces, though. I think I can outturn the Arrow Bonita. I think. Well, no, he's got control surfaces. Bad. Bad. Also, I'm not turning at all. What the fuck? Yak, come on now! Yak. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, we won anyway. That was a bad situation. I gotta stop using the fucking control surfaces willy nilly. That's what I need them, and I almost never have it because I always keep using it like that. <laughs> Durr. But well, we won anyway. Didn't do very much, but we proved that the X7 is kind of underwhelming stock, so it's gonna take a little bit of work here. I think I need to play one more match though before I call it a day. Okay, we didn't do very much, but, well, we got a double, so we got a lot of the aircraft experience out of that shit, so good. Mm-hmm, very nice. We should be able to buy an engine with that, at least. No, the engines are all really fucking expensive. Well, we do get an increase in maneuverability here, but you know what? Actually, you know what, fuck it. I'd like to click on that, please. Thank you. Fuck it. We'll just buy this and suffer with it. Because 7,000 for the gun and, well, 12,000 for the 50 cals ain't that bad. And that's the UBT. Or the UBS. The Brisons. Which is about the gun you would expect to be on these things. But, yeah, okay. Well, it expect to be on the other ones, like the earlier Ishak, but they decided they needed it needed to have 20mm cannons, but 50 cals. Whatever. Anyway, we'll play one more game and see if the upgraded fuselage helps the plane any. I hope so. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long grind for that gun. Okay. Oh, so now we get to play this shit. Great. Now we get unbalanced, man. Cover your allies. Hit the enemy, and we shall win. Well, at least it's going to be easy for my team to actually get a hold of a point. What do we what we do after that? I have no idea, but we can get a control of a point. Okay, everybody, hard turn right. Get ready for action. Descend. Let's go. Let off the engine. I've got my speed boost. Just trying to get in here as fast as humanly possible. I am trying to min-max. Now let's see here. Alright, that's our ground kill. We help. Now we go back and kill planes. Mm-hmm. 
little bit hectic here. And wow, this thing just does not like to turn back around after it fucking does a loop. Good lord. Well, I didn't get anything. Goddamn yak. Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah, I scared him into exploding. Alright, so, it looks like we're probably gonna have to do energy fighting tactics in this thing, because Jesus Christ, this mobility is terrible. Hmm. Who's this fucker? Also, he's coming at me. That's bad. Well, well, he fucked off anyway, and now he's in the middle of, like, four different fucking teammates. Actually, the entire enemy- um, our entire team at this point. Well, I got an assist. Oh, well. Well, excuse me, P-40. I'm flying here. It also, it looks like the other enemy team- The enemy team has not captured the garrison at all. What happened there? They're not all bots, so what are they doing? Uh, oh, well, there it is. Okay. There's their control points. Okay, this is gonna be a bit... Well, actually, a major fucking problem, because there's three enemies that we have to fucking deal with. Okay, now we're gonna use that! Turn! Ah, uh, this thing turns like a fucking freight train! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ. This thing is a fucking coffin. Good lord. Ugh. Disgusting. But oh well, we'll get through it. I'm hoping that the fucking gun... That's what I'm looking at here. The gun has a 900 meter range. So what I'm thinking is, is that they made this thing maneuver very poorly to compensate for the fact that that gun can basically hit you where, basically wherever the fuck it wants. Or whenever the fuck it wants. Because at that range, you're not actually in a maneuver fight yet. So this thing isn't really a maneuvering fighter, mainly because... Well... You don't get to do maneuvering fights at optimal range. You hit people from fuck off distance away, and then destroy them from that distance. This is what I am assuming is going to happen here. In which case, amping this thing for speed might be a better idea, because the maneuverability, you, you can't save this thing. It's just objectively worse than everything that it's fighting. And we actually managed to take the airbase from the enemy. Yuck! You see, if I had the cannon, I would have been shooting at that guy already. I killed him, but you get the point here. Fucking goddamn stole warning this underpowered piece of shit. Looks like I might need the engines as well. Hey, fuck off. Ow! Whoops, ran into a fucking teammate. Well, I let off the, the mouse for about a second, and then I don't get the kill. What a shame. Oh, Jesus. Soviet engineering has not led me into a very good place. You see, I could be shooting at that guy right now, if I were fully upgraded. <laughs> ah. Hi there, don't mind me. Dow! Turn! Turn! You see, I'm even using. I'm even using the fuck. Ugh. I'm using. Even using reinforced control surfaces, and it's still not saving my plane. I am still dead. But thankfully, my friendly teammate there was actually able to actually help me there. Thank you, sir. You are credit to Union, even though you are dirty fascist. But I will not tell anyone, remember? Remember, just like Poland.
And then I just disappeared, just explode out of nowhere. He only had to hit me once. Fucking P38s. Is that tier six or tier five? Fucking P38. Where the hell is he? Tier, yes, tier five. That's. Wow, he has a significant advantage in fucking engine power over me at that tier. Jesus Christ. Be advised, a line of thunderstorms is approaching. We'll soon be unable to provide support. This thing really needs that 37 in order to actually do well. Keep it up. Because again, could be shooting right about there. But now I have to wait, and now I can shoot him. Well, at least I got him. Lag compensation carried that a little bit because he was completely out of my crosshair and I still sh I still managed to hit him. Well, well, it looks like we're going to be able to win this game with just the things that we have on hand. Uh oh. That is an issue. Okay, there's that one. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Yeah. Did I get him? I think I got him. If the thing will show, yes, I did get him. Aha! I got you, John. <laughs> excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Nice formation we have here, but excuse me. Ow! He bumped my plane. Ah! Boy, I'm really having fun here stalling in this fucking piece of shit. Okay, now this thing needs engine upgrades. But only because it's so fucking terrible at everything else. Great job today. We'll be waiting for you back home. I need gun, and I need the engine upgrades in order to make this thing at least be able to actually climb and fight with people, because I'm not going to win maneuvering fights. So, it's an energy fighter. Amazing. But, let's go back to the hangar and see what the damage is. Hmm. Okay, we didn't do very much at all because, well, we're kind of slow, but we're still- we still managed to win. That P-38 ruined everything on the enemy team, but his teammates let him down. Good on you. We did mediocre, but we still managed to pull through. Good on that. And that gives us... It actually gave us 2,000 XP. Jesus H fucking Christ, where's all this extra XP coming from? Total XP without bonuses. Other bonuses. Why was I making that much? What did I do? What? How was I making damn near 2,000 XP? Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to fuck that happened, but okay, fine. Now, as for upgrades, you see, they're all very pricey. I think I'm going to hold on to my XP right now and just save it for the 37. Then, when we come back, I think I'm going to have to do some finagling in here with engine upgrades because, uh... Wow, we certainly need it. I'm not exactly sure how much more effective these engine upgrades are going to be for getting the plane to maneuver around a little better, but, well, we get an increase in airspeed, an increase in horsepower. I'm not exactly sure how big of a bump the horsepower is going to feel like, but I'm probably going to pull out these and throw in engine tuning and probably engine uh, aircraft polish as well. We shall see, though. But, well, we make it through the early tiers, and we hit tier tier 5, and they give us a problem, child. But, well, we'll figure it out as we go. But, I have been your wonderful host, Fontaman, and thank you for joining me on this first stretch of this new and exciting grindfest in World of Warplanes. I hope you're having fun, and you're probably... Some people are probably calling me an idiot in the background, but whatever. If, if I need to learn something, I will learn it eventually. At the, well, at the dismay of everyone else sitting there probably yelling at me about something, but whatever. In any case, I'll see you next time.